Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. You still need to turn him on sexually. Now, and I, I, I got into, uh, you know, the basics a woman needs to really develop her sex appeal last week. Just the basics, you know, body game for y'all too, or at least the best physical form for you. So if you size two, your best physical form. If you size 14, your best physical form. I talked about the charisma part. You still got to get along with that man. And then the femininity and stuff. Okay, that's cool. But regardless, regardless of what level each of those things are developed to, and especially if they not developed at all, well, you need to work on that first part. You still need to turn him on sexually. Like, if you want good sex from a man, you need to turn him on. Because here's the thing, ladies. The more you turn him on, the better he's going to do for you. Let me say that again. The more you arouse him, turn him on, the more he's going to do for you. In fact, if you really turn him on, you might see a part of him that normally you wouldn't get. See, a lot of women complaining about sex out here and complaining about men not doing what they're supposed to do and got some fair complaints. I mean, let's just be real. From many reports, the men ain't doing their part. But what happens when the woman's doing, the man's rather, is doing his part, but the woman ain't doing anything? Like you get some women saying, I've actually talked to some women privately and they'll say, you know, this guy don't want to do this. He, he don't want to do that. He don't want to do it. But then I'm looking at it. I'm saying, I'm thinking to myself, oh, sweetie, there's nothing sexy about you. You don't inspire it. See, ladies, this is how it works. When you are sufficiently aroused that man, you turning him on sexually. This means that, okay, you're getting your body right, nice and tight. You presenting it. You got, you know, you might have your hair fixed. You might have that nice smile. You treating him in a nice, soft way. You speaking to him now with a hard voice like, yeah, where you been? You be like, hey, baby, where you been? Right? So you doing all that, right? And stuff real soft, you being real receptive to him and stuff. And you know why you receptive? He's smelling that like nice perfume. You smelling good. Shoot, you got those pump jimsons on. You serving up those breasts. Got a something nice that's highlighting your beautiful, your beautiful bud dunk and stuff. You know, you shoot. You might even have some stuff. You might have those sexy legs. You got on some nice fishnets. You being real seductive because seductive for y'all is drawing our attention. And then you just gradually touching that man in such a way to fire him up. Like I remember one time, there was this woman. There was this woman, I swear, all she did, there's a couple of them. All she did was just graze my hand. But the way she was, she was smelling good, fixed up. Her makeup was perfect. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was going crazy. I know another woman she could do that. She she could rub she would rub my hand in such a way I would go crazy right there. I wanted to get I wanted to make love to her right there. We went and we went to office too. I wanted to make love to her right there. She the way she just grazed my hand and everything. Shoot, I wanted to make love to her shadow. I mean, she good lord. But you have to do it. See, there's some, okay, y'all supposed to be receptive, but there's sometimes y'all got to do something too, ladies. You know, how you looking at that man? Maybe how you touch him, you know? Like one woman I was dealing with, you know, she would just, she would just, whenever we sitting together, she would just like, just rub my arm, just keep rubbing my arm. She was like very touchy. I remember, uh, and she might hear this, we out in California driving on uh, the five for people out in California. And I'm driving the whole time. She's just rubbing my arm, rubbing my arm. When we finally stopped at that hotel, we were barely in the room. I <laughs> shoot. <laughs> oh, my God. But that's how she was. She just kept it up. She just kept it up. She was just very, like, touchy. 
Like when you with your man, like if you just rubbing his neck, because I remember yet another woman. You know, she would just, I remember one time we were someplace and she was just rubbing my neck the whole time. She was just rubbing my neck the whole time. I was like, good Lord. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ladies, sometimes y'all got to do something. And how you speaking to him? Are you speaking to him with that hard voice? Or are you speaking to him with that nice, soft, sexy voice? And stuff. Shoot, y'all got to have y'all game. Ladies, look, I'm going to give y'all some game, real game. This is how you put a root on a man. I'm going to tell you because it works as hell for me. And I talked to some other fellas and some fellas are like, damn, that worked on us too, bro. Shoot. Like if he's in your environment or something, you got that sexy, seductive thing. Or, you know, you or like if he's over at your place, you got those candles going and everything. Shoot. Got the candles going. It smell nice. You speaking? You got maybe some nice music in the background. Shoot, especially if you got that smell, ladies. Just like y'all go crazy over smell, a nice seductive smell on a woman. You looking good, and shoot, you might just rub his neck or something. Shoot, like you gotta make you gotta make love to him. Like I never forget there was this woman, and she said the way she would make love to his man, he wouldn't even want to cheat. And then if he still did something like that anyway, he'd know he messed up. I got to say, yeah, pretty much that's how she was. You got to learn how to touch him and everything. You know, turn him on sexually. You got to be receptive. You got to be touchy and everything. You know, just we you got to, ladies, you got to make the love to his mind. Ladies, you got to make, you got to know how to stroke that ego just right and everything. In fact, I'm going to tell you the truth. I think that's what's a big problem with a lot of women. A lot of women don't know how to make love to a man. You know how to receive, and some women think that's all they have to do. But if you want to hook that man, you got to put a root on him. And I don't mean no hoodoo thing either. You got to make love to such to him. He ain't gonna, He might not want to leave. You be like, baby, you want to go? Nah, I'm, I'm good, girl. I'm here for you. <laughs> Shoot. You want, that's how you want to roll, Okay. That's how you want to roll, all right? So you still but you still need to do your job. See, we can talk all this other stuff, but we got to say, well, what are you doing? You know? You got to put it on him. You got to... You got to pee whip his ass. <laughs> Shoot. But, ladies, you got to turn him on sexually. There's no ifs, ands, and buts, okay? So, anyway, ladies, that's all I have for now. Y'all do that thing. Trust me. It works. It sure as hell worked on me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to y'all. Peace and blessings.